The Revenues and Benefits team are pleased to announce that since April we have been offering a new service to make claiming housing and council tax benefit easier. Simply telephone us and we will arrange for a visiting officer to come out to see you. They will complete our new electronic claim form for you and take copies of any documents we need as well as answer any questions you may have. Once they have returned to the office, your claim should be processed within a few days. So if you would like to make a claim, please contact us by phone on 01702-318197 or 01702-318198 from 8am to 8pm Monday to Friday and 9am to noon on Saturday or contact them by email at revenues at benefits and the ANS is an ampersand sign at rochford.gov.uk and I'll repeat that revenues and benefits at rochford.gov.uk Now we have a piece from Councillor Terry Cutmore leader of Rochford District Council on the Rochford District Budget Survey we want your views on what you consider are the priority services of your local district council and how you think the available budget should be spent. Your views will be taken into account when the council considers, considers its future spending priorities. Over the next few years, Rochford District Council, like public bodies across the nation, is likely to have to make major changes to the way it works as we deal with the reductions in our funding from central government. Following cuts to our government grant of 17% in 2011-12, our grant for 2012-13 will be cut by a further 11%. This means that we will need to find a further £0.7 million in savings or additional income for 2012-13. In 2011-12, the Council is reducing expenditure by £1.2 million, which is in addition to the £0.9 million cost reductions we delivered in 2010-11. Some of the tough decisions made for 2011-12 were helped by the feedback received from the budget survey carried out in 2010. This identified what services were considered to be particularly important and should be protected from cuts and which services were seen as lower priority by residents. As there are going to be few easy choices again this year, the Council wants to find out what's important to you before councillors decide where any further reductions will have to be made. So we're looking for your views about the district as a whole, based on your day-to-day -day experiences and what you would like to see as the priorities for services over the next few years. Please remember that although the Council provides many services for residents, there are other public service providers too, such as the County Council, the Police and the Primary Care Health Trust, who are all responsible for providing services in the district. In the survey we have provided some information about the high level of spend or, for example, the income from car parking. In addition to this survey, the Council will also be publishing on its website an opportunity for you to have your say about particular service areas. This will give you the opportunity to make any comments or suggestions about improvements to services or any efficiency savings that you, as a user, have identified. In addition, the survey will also be available on the website for online completion. Thanking Thank you for taking the time to help. So, where do we get our money from? The District Council has three main sources of funding. Fees and charges for services we provide, for example planning, car parking charges, etc. This amounts to 31%. Grants from several central government, including the redistribution of business rates, amounts to 26% and council tax amounts to 43%. And who spends the council tax? As residents of Rochford District, you can contribute to funding council services through paying council tax. In addition to the services provided by Rochford District Council, we collect council tax on behalf of a number of authorities. And these are 
4% from Essex Fire Authority, 9% from Essex Police Authority, 2% from Town and Parish Councils, 13% from Rochford District Council and 72% from Essex County Council. As mentioned in this edition of Rochford District Matters, there's a chance for you to have your say about our spending priorities. The survey asks you to select a high, medium or low priority and less, same or more expenditure on these items. Tackling antisocial behaviour and environmental crime, waste and recycling, public and environmental health, parks and open spaces, planning and economic development, support to our community, support to our voluntary sector, sports, culture and leisure, car parks, street cleaning and litter picking. And it asks which three services in order of priority you would select if the council could only protect current spending le levels on three service areas. It then asks which three service areas in order of priority you would select if the council was going to reduce spending. The very last section asks for details about you, male, female, ethnic groups and so on. Now, it may be difficult for some residents to complete these forms on their own. Rochford District Council has confirmed that if someone finds this difficult, they can call the council on 01702 546 366 and help will be available. Rochford District Council produces an annual report which gives an overview of the Council's performance, spending and financial position. And the full report is available on our website. But the net expenditure for 2010-2011 was £3.3 million in respect of making a difference to our people, which included elections, local land charges, cemeteries and churchyards and licensing. Expenditure was 5.3 million for making a difference to our community. And that included collection of local taxes, council tax and housing benefits, emergency planning and health and safety, leisure premises, sports development and promotion, concessionary fairs, and housing services and homelessness. The expenditure was 6.2 million for making a difference to our environment, which included Rayleigh Windmill, woodlands, parks and open spaces, planning and building control, environmental health, street cleansing and recycling. The expenditure was £6,000 for making a difference to our local economy in respect of economic development and car parks, and it was £14.9 in respect of making a difference to our local economy, which included net costs of services, less statutory accounting adjustments, including capital charges, less income from cash investments, plus money put into reserves for future use. So the cost of local services to be met by local and national taxes was £12.8 million. Where did the money come from? The £12.8 million that we spent on providing local services after contributions from reserves and income raised from various fees and charges came from local and national taxes and redistributed business rates. Our total income for the year was 11.6 million, which was split 718,000 pounds government grant, 4.47 million from national business rates returned to the council, and 6.4 million from council tax from residents. The council is using balances built up over previous years to pay for the investment in the improved recycling service and to cover reductions in income streams. The Council recognises that these balances won't last and has plans to continue to reduce expenditure over the next three years. And the revenue account surplus for 2010-2011, the total income was £11.5 total cost of services £12.8 and the deficit for the year is £1.2 the council was responsible for collecting £47.6 million of council tax last year, but we kept only £6.4 equivalent to 13 pence in every pound collected. 
the majority of what's collected is paid to others as follows. Essex County Council, 34.1 million. Essex Police Authority, 4.1 million. Essex Fire Authority, 2.1 million. And Parish and Town Councils, 1 million. The average council tax band for D property for 2010-2011 was made up as follows. Rochford District Council, £201.15p. Essex County Council, £1,086.75p. Essex Fire Authority, £66.42p. Essex Police Authority, £132.12p. Town and Parish Councils, and this figure is an average figure, and it's £32.19p. And the total is £1,518.63p. In 2010-2011, the national average for council tax was £1,495. From government grant and redistribution of business rates, we received £61 per head, compared to a national average of £79.